hello guys and welcome to my channel in today's video we are going to do an unboxing i have a quite a big art haul for you and i'm super excited to share with you what i bought it now some of the items are from jackson that's heavy and some of the items are from amazon and i'm so sorry if i look like a hot mess but i'm packing luggages because tomorrow me and my son are flying to italy so this is the last video you will see me filming from uk and then we're going to be one month with my parents so where i can get spoiled a little bit before baby come but without further ado let's check this is the last bag i received it just arrived today and i ordered everything almost at the same time but these arrive almost two week two weeks later so the package is not open yet while all the other ones are open because i had to check the condition and you know you have a window for the return and such and i'm so excited for this item this is a sketchbook from royal talent an art creation sketchbook let me remove the plastic so we can check it out i basically see at most of the youtuber using this sketchbook as an affordable alternative uh, to basically do everything on it and uh, yeah so i was curious to try i never tried before and i was especially impressed because there are 80 sheets inside so it's quite a big sketchbook and then on the back you say it's good for sketch pencil charcoal chalk graphite crayon ink and also watercolor it's a 140 gsm 94 pound acid free this is a small side 12 by 12 it's not a centimeter it's not the only one i bought because i was super super curious so these are the pages they are uh, like tan color they're like off-white beige color i don't mind absolutely I'm not looking for the pure white sketchbook and I am curious to see how it's gonna handle watercolor because the pages are not really thick. Andre 40 GSM is not really um, that thick page so maybe you can just do some light wash I'm not sure but I know I was fed up of by sketchbook lately they had just 10 pages or 20 pages and they just you start them and <laughs> already finish so this convinced me when i saw that it was 80 pages now let's open the other one and this is the bigger size i bought and uh, i love that they have a different color so i actually decided that i gonna keep buying different color and have a sort of color collection of this sketchbook but for the moment for the time being i just bought these two and if you guys following this channel you know i've been doing quite a few um sketchbook tour lately because last year I started a few sketchbooks together. So this year I'm actually finishing them. And I have another sketchbook with just two pages left. And I think when I will be back from Italy, um, I will finish that one too. So this is a bigger side. This is uh, 13 centimeter by 21 or five by eight. And as well is an off white. And I see a lot of people that they like using tire pages spread uh, to do their painting. I've never done something like this. I always focus on one page at a time. Uh, but yeah, I will a bit experiment to see which material can hold, how much of a bleeding I have. 
and then decide how to use it. So I'm super excited to have this other one. Last item from Amazon is an acrylic paint from Liquitex. Let me open. This is the first Liquitex pro product I buy. I never try anything from the brand, but I know everybody is like Liquitex or Golden, Liquitex or Golden. Uh, golden is very expensive, and this is also Liquitex Basics acrylic, so it's their uh, student grade line. I'm fine with that. Um, this is a cadmium orange. I have already quite a few acrylics, so I try not to buy entire set anymore and then I have a lot of acrylic that can dry up. So I'm buying some convenience color now because I don't have a lot of convenience color and orange can be a really good color to have. So as always guys, let me know in the comment if you try any of this product and what you think about them. Now it's time to open Jackson. I will do all the swatches in the end, so I'll move the camera up and I'll show you up close what I bought. So Jackson was having a watercolor sale. So I bought a few watercolor, but not even the many because Watercolor are still quite expensive and I have a few set so I just want to experiment with some new brand but yeah still containing myself because they can be quite pricey and I'm a stay-at-home mom and yeah since leaving my job I am very well aware of money, so I'm trying to be careful. So I bought this Schminke color, super granulating color. It's the only one of the series I have, and even discounted was still very pricey, but the color really grabbed my attention. This is Desert Green, and this, like, I love greens, Greens are my favorite color and this is like a green that goes into brown. I don't think he's focusing my camera, but I will show you then the swatching. It's, this is just a 5 milliliter tube, so I was curious to try and yeah, I love green. So I try to get as many shades of green as possible. And I also bought us, maybe they are here, yep, I also bought some Jackson on watercolor and of course I bought a permanent sub green and I also bought a Van Dyke Brown. This is something, another color that I don't have in my palette. I know, terrible. And uh, yeah, I finally have it. Uh, this is an art artist line of Jackson. So I don't have any watercolor from Jackson, but I know they do good product. So I was curious to try their online. And I think this is the last one I have. I have this uh, Aureolin, it's this yellow shade, quite uh, bright. So yeah, I was curious to add a white and I will swatch all of this in the end of the video, as I said. So if you're not interested in swatching, you can just click out once you finish. We finish with the all. I bought another acrylic because Jackson had uh, also sale on some artist grade acrylic. So if you saw my previous haul, I did buy some student grade Jackson acrylic that I think they are amazing and I'm very happy, but just bought the basic, the primary color plus white and black. This is an Indian red and it looks quite a deep red brown. So it really grabbed my attention. 
So I avoid the basic color I have already, but when I find something special, I'm happy to add it to my collection and have a few more. So I am very excited for this one. I bought the, it's a bit dusty, but the, I bought the biggest metal tin for watercolor that I could possibly find. And I've been looking either in Amazon and or in Jackson. This is the biggest one. It can hold 48 watercolor and oh, 40 something, I think 48. But if you want more, you can just remove this uh, base metal and then just spread it on the on the bottom and have even more than 50. Maybe 56 said the most. But yeah, the idea for me is having all my watercolor in one place. I'm working mainly from home now with the kids. So have all the color in one place. It's very convenient for me instead of going around and grabbing uh, one day one palette, one day the other palette. So it's gonna take a while for me to fill this up. And for the time being, I'm just putting aside the mix brand and mix quality. I won't be really fussy, but then with the time, um, the idea is to have just a uh, excellent light fast rating uh, of watercolor in here and make it very specific but that it will take a very long time for me at the moment so I'm having this beautiful gorgeous palette yes the thumb holder and uh, yeah I'm really looking forward to start filling it up and we're gonna start already today with this color here there are more stuff in here more paint as well so in their sample pack they have this uh legion book it's a, a sketchbook it's super tiny and it's a black paper and lately i've been interested in checking out black paper so i think i thought this was a really good way to start i didn't have any black paper until i got my a scroller box mystery box there was a good video because i got three boxes for just the price of one and it was incredible uh, this is a stone edge aqua hot press and i don't know the um it's 100 watercolor but i don't see the thickness of the paper but it's quite thick so i think it may be Definitely over 200 GSM. I think he said on the website about nine years. So I'll turn sheet and uh, yeah, I'm super curious to start painting on this. I have a few acrylic uh, paint markers that I just got into recently. And um, yeah, I want to try them out. And talking about acrylic markers, I bought this Posca pen. Now, I, I think this is just the second ever Posca pen I own. And again, they can be quite pricey. So I bought uh, just one for the moment and then slowly, slowly I'm going to build my collection. I thought this uh, uh, lilac color was uh, quite pretty and is a, a three milliliter bullet shape point and yeah we will activate it in the end of the video i think it's really pretty so i'm i think i'm very excited to slowly build my collection instead of just going all at once and then feel overwhelmed by everything i can slowly start to play in this way and then add only the color that i really like i also bought a few sketchbook as you see uh, this is Jackson on brand sketchbook. I see a lot of people using the uh, black one, but they was out of stock. So I will try this one. 
this is 120 gsm so i guess it's just for really sketching or doing some pen drawing and uh, let me see medium grain acid free drawing paper in natural white with a simple staple binding all dry technique and there are 16 sheets inside and it's uh, quite a good paper um, it doesn't say this, let's see the size, 21 by 20. And this is a landscape. Uh, oh, it comes with a sticker, so you can put your own starting and finishing date. That's cute. And uh, yeah, again, is a off-white paper. Not too thin, not too thick. Yeah, I'm really excited to start to try more of Jackson own brand because they are good quality and affordable. So if I'm not disappointed by this item, I may buy some more. I have two more for you guys. I have one more sketchbook and one more paint. I'm going with a sketchbook and then I'll show you the most exciting thing there last new type of paint that i bought so this is also jackson brand watercolor block and this is the first block that i own i want to remove the plastic immediately because it does a lot of glaring on the camera and i don't think it's nice for you to see that and i don't have time to edit because we fly tomorrow so I was very excited for a long time to try a watercolor block and see the feeling of it. Then with Jackson you can choose not just the sizing but also the texture of the paper. You just select what you want and I decided to try rough. I never try the rough texture. I always like a bit of uh, texture. This is 300 gsm in natural white, uh, 17 by 25 centimeters or 7 by 10, 15 sheets acid free. So now you know why I was looking for a 80 sheet sketchbook because most of them they are just like 10, 20, and it feels like you don't even have the time to start. So this, now it's a block, so I won't be turning page in or separate them. It looks like this space to put your palette knife and open it is right here on the top, where there is this uh, difference on white. And I have to say, I am a bit disappointed because I was expecting a much more texture paper. It is quite texture, but I don't find any difference between a cold press and a rough. Uh, I have a lot of cold press sketchbook and they feel exactly the same like this one. I was expecting more roughness, I guess. But yeah, that's okay. I love cold press and I'm using it a lot. So I'm going to enjoy this one. And it's a bigger size. So I try to play a lot also with sizing. So I don't really get bored in using always the same size. And this is the last item. I bought this acrylic wash. I never try acrylic wash. I have a classic wash, jelly wash. The one you buy in Amazon. They are very popular, the Imi wash. But I never try this acrylic wash. And I think I may like it even more because I hear somebody say the Hindu too, but they are basically acrylic. They should not be called gouache. They are like opaque matte acrylic. And I love acrylic and I love uh, opacity. So this may be a new love for me. And the brand is Olbein. There are five colors inside, and these are the colors I have. And I'm looking forward to test this out. We're gonna test this out right now. The colors are carmine, lemon yellow, sky blue, jet black, and titanium white.
Okay, guys, so this was the last item. If you are just interested in the Ola, thank you so much for watching. This is all that we had so far, and I'll give you a nice view from the top right now. If you are interested in this watching, stay tuned because we'll be proceeding with that. This is everything we shopped for today. Let me know down in the comment which one is your favorite item and which one you already own and love. Now let's get swatching. I will be using this sketchbook for swatching. So uh, this is going to be my new experimental sketchbook. So I don't mind if things get messy. I also grab half pan in case the watercolor tube explodes. It, it happened in the past, so now I am ready for everything. I leave the first page empty. I think I will use it for start date and such. And these are glued together, so I think these are perfect to experiment and let's see how it bleeds through. So I'll try with the Posca. I will activate it on my own. It finally start to flow out. It's taking a really long time to activate this pen. But yes, yeah, slowly we are getting there. It's a beautiful color, isn't it? Nice. Really like this one. Next, I will try the acrylics. And we have these Liquitex Orange. And then we will also check how the paper is doing. It's really nice, this orange. I don't feel like I can mix a nice orange, so I always felt like I needed to buy one. So, really nice. It's holding quite well for now. Let's try this Indian red. It's very deep. I love it. Let me grab it from here. Wow, that's really nice. I think I will use this color a lot. Love it. Nice one. Okay, I want to try Jackson watercolor. I brought them too close together, so let's see. I hope I have all the information on the pan straight away. Otherwise, I will need to write them myself. And they are not, unfortunately. So I'm going to have to write information here on the pan. And then I can store it in my new palette straight away. So let's see how it rewets. This is the Aureolin. Nice deep yellow. But I don't think there is a lot of difference with other yellow, so I don't know. By the way, if you are interested in the um, color code, this is a PY40, the yellow. And now we have the sub green, which is a two color PB29, PY154. This is a nice green. It's not as bright how it looks in here, which I prefer. I like more 
um, earthy matte color so I'm not really looking for a lot of brightness sometimes you need but not too many no need too many so this is a nice green actually it I see the paper start to buckle a little bit but I don't see any bleeding so really good the Van Dyke Brown is a PR101 and PBK7. Here we have. Wow, it's really nice. It really is. I love this brown. Wow. Let's try this desert green. Let me see if I have. It's a PR. Sorry, it's very hard to read. PR108 and PG26. Okay, let's see how. Nice. It's a very, very deep green. I love it. Maybe this is not the most accurate test because I'm not really allowed the paint to flow around, but it's okay for today. It's just to get the idea. It's a very deep green and I love it. Okay, it's time to try our gouache and I'll start with the carmine. Here it looks much deeper color while here it looks very bright. So let's see. It is pretty matte if you compare it to this orange is quite transparent usually on the first layer a normal acrylic instead this one is fairly matte uh, yeah I think I like it and it's not as bright as it looks in here so I'm much happier let's try this lemon yellow they all look very bright from here from the top I love how big they are. I'm at this one opposite to normal gouache. When it dries, it dries. So it acts completely as acrylic. It just is matte. Ooh. The sky blue is really pretty. Nice. I'll do the white first because I'm scared. I'm not going to be able to clean my brush properly afterwards. Because I need to change my water and I don't want to. It's such a bright white. I love it. Especially on this tan paper, it really stands out. So now we have the black. This is the black. Jet black. All right. Let me give you an up close of what the color looks like. 
it feels like this one is already changing quite a lot and uh, it doesn't show a lot on camera but it, there is clearly a separation between the green and the brown so those are the color and I want to put this Jackson pan already safely in here and who how do I put them? Do they get stuck? One second. All right. I have to understand which size is the right one. Okay. Ooh. No, I don't want it that inside. I will later add a few more that I have. And once again, thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope you like it. In case, please give me a like. And if you like, subscribe again as well and join the community. Now I have a lot to do, but it was a lot of fun. See you next time. Bye. Actually, see you from Italy. Bye.